Ben. You name it, we've got it on the show tonight. We've got comedy, we've got fashion, we have got a guest DJ, and of course, the dancers. That's right, it's kind of the show with everything. It's, you know, it's kind of like a smorgasbord of entertainment, kind of a salad bar of show. A little and bit of everything. And we're crazy, we're working without a sneeze guard. <laughs> so there's germs flying around tonight, is what I'm telling you. I like germs. <laughs> you know, you are uh, looking great here tonight. Look at this outfit, huh, folks? <laughs> Thank you, Roman. Thank, thank you, Roman. Showing a little too much skin for TV, though. That is quite incredible. You don't like the skin? No, you no, guys like the skin? Is it's the skin good. okay? Right. I'm not complaining. Okay. You know, actually, uh, before the show in rehearsal uh, the other day, uh, Joanna, she, I, she kind of actually showed me her butt. She did. Just out of the blue, she dropped her pants and showed me her butt in her dressing room. And I was shocked by that. And, Ask uh, and you'll receive. <laughs> and as simple surprised. as that. Mm, I feel tingly in my happy place. All right, uh, <laughs> Let's get started with the show. We got a great show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Just Saint is here. Woo! Absolutely. You know what? We have the amazing hair fashions of John Paul Holt and the Avant Garde Salon. Wild stuff. Very cool. And we're also going to be chatting with Brendan Fair from the new hit show Roswell. Wow, Brendan. And of course, guest DJ Alex Anderson's in the house, all the way from London, England. Like everybody's ready to rock. We have a CD right here. My first guest is just, just Saint, and she's uh, just turned 19 years old, wow. born and raised in Quebec. Uh, she's already had three uh, chart topping singles with a video that was locked down at the number two position on Musique Plus for Plus? five weeks. That's French. She's already sold 25,000 CDs in Canada since its release in September of 1998. And she's been nominated for a Juno Award and a CMA Award. And she's here on V tonight. The song is called Give It Up. So, what the hell? Let's give it up for Just Saint! <laughs>
be. You know what? You can always find me here hanging out at the DJ booth with Russell James. How you feeling, Russell? I am feeling good. How you feeling? I feel excellent, of course. So I was just wondering, who's that you have next to you? Standing right beside me, all the way from London, England, superstar DJ Alex Anderson is in the house. So you know what? We've got a little bit more with Alex Anderson a little bit later, but now it's time to travel all the way across the studio to Romania. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing tonight? Right on, right on. Okay, I thought what we do for the little Romania segment here tonight, we do a little improv bit. You guys into that? Okay, I'm gonna get someone up from the, the audience here. Uh, well, let's get that guy right there. Yeah, right there. What's your, what's your, come on up. What's your name, buddy? What's your name? Yell it out. Yell it out. What's your name? Simon. Simon. Big round applause for Simon. Here he comes. Come on, Simon. Plucked from the back of the room. How you doing, bud? Have a stand right in front of that microphone, if you would, there, Simon. Yeah, before the show, I ask everybody for their nickname, and Simon, you, of course, yelled out, Swinger. That's what you yelled out. You are the swinger. Simon is the swinger tonight. All right, buddy. I want you to grab this, hold it up, and stand right up by this uh, thing here, and you're going to hold that up right up to your mouth, and what you're going to do is you're not going to have to do any talking, Simon, but you're going to supply all the sound effects for me in a scene, all right? That's all you got to do, all right, buddy? So, for instance, Simon, if I'm going to be opening up a door, what's that going to sound like? <laughs> if it had a buzzer on the end of it, sure. If I was gonna slam that door shut, Simon, what's that gonna sound like? Boom. Boom, very good, Simon. With a bit of a delay from the satellite. Okay, <laughs> so that's all you gotta do. Be nice and loud, watch what I'm doing, and fill in the sound effects, all right? You pumped, buddy? You! Yeah, okay, yeah. good, all right. I feel much angry now all of a sudden, all right. Okay, for, uh, for this, uh, what is a, a job that you wouldn't normally have to have really good hair for? A garbage man, very good. And in honor of the avant-garde hair fashion show people here tonight, I'll do a, a garbage man that cares a little bit more about his do, all right? So that's what the scene is going to be. We're going to start right from the start of his day, Simon. And uh, here, we, you can look at me if you like. There you go. All right, buddy. <laughs> right along with the game. All right, so put that right up close to your mouth, and we'll see what happens. Boy, oh, boy. I better get up and go to work. I can hear my alarm going off. <laughs> oh, I must have not set that thing. Oh, there it is going right now. It's, it's buzzing right now. There's my alarm. Buzz. <laughs> Man, that's pretty loud. Holy smokes. I think I gave myself an electric shock, too. Oh, boy. I better crack my back before I head off to work. I'm going to crack my back. Here I go. <laughs> oh, that vertebrae always sticks. Holy smokes. Oh, I better uh, make sure I get my uh, grooming up together. Let me turn on the water faucet here. Turn on the old water. <laughs> There's my electric razor ready to go. I like to keep that handy just in case the water's not working. Yes, sir, you Bobby. Oh, there we go. Battery's a little intermittent. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, my hair's are still, I guess, moist from last night. That's fine. I don't need the water. Let me just use the blow dryer, plug that in, and get the sucker going. Put on the... <laughs> it's kind of like the razor, too, isn't it? I can give myself a trim at the same time. Oh, I know what I need. A little gel on the top of my head. That's what I need. Looking in the mirror. Looking good. Let's put a little gel there. See how that uh, looks. Squeeze some on. Some of that goopy gel. Goop. <laughs> I think some letters just came into my head. <laughs> something that's like, like Batman or something. All right. Oh, that's working in very good there. Okay, girls. That's got it. Well, I'm looking pretty good. Time to head out the front door and go to work. Here I go out the front door. Good thing I left that open from last night. I live in a pretty good neighborhood. I don't need to lock that sucker. Let me grab the, let me grab the keys to the garbage truck. The keys, I'm just gonna dingle in my hand. The garbage... Well, that was like a bell I got the end of that. I can, uh, I can ring the church bell when I want to get in my truck. All right, let's start this sucker up. Here I go, starting up the garbage truck. <laughs> Oh, I got that one sheep engine. That's what I got. <laughs> That's all the power I need, boy. Get out of the way. I'm a garbage man. I'm late for work. <laughs> oh, geez, I floored it pretty good there, didn't I? Hey, I think, the, I think the girls out there are really liking my hairdo. Look at that, though. They're really liking my... Hey, ladies, what do you think of my hairdo? Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. Woo! <laughs> Sounds like the ladies have a sore throat. 
All right. Oh, yeah, here's the, uh, this is old Mrs. Johnson's house right there. I better just throw her garbage in the back of the truck. Let me just throw that big load of garbage in. Let me just chuck it in. Boom. All right. <laughs> now we're cooking with steam, Simon. Well done. All right. Let's turn on the crusher. Let's turn on the garbage crusher. I'll just use my electric razor again. That'll be fine. That'll mulch the garbage. A round of applause for Simon, ladies and gentlemen. Help me out, buddy. Well done. <laughs> Swinger is the most casual man I've ever met. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got a lot more show coming up, and Simon's going to be dancing with me all night long. And uh, we've got Brendan Fair from Roswell coming up, and we also, up next, the Avant Garde Hair Show. Stick around, everybody. We're right back on B. And our guest DJ is, uh, has been working with London Records, home of the All Saints, and the remixer producer Armand Van Helden, and is currently the A&R promotion manager of London-based Neo Records. He is headlined at every major club around the world, and he's here tonight to spin on me. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Alex Anderson. <laughs> so how are you feeling tonight, Alex? Uh, good but tired. Good, but tired. Have you been raving since you've been in Vancouver? Yeah. For how long? Four days. For four days. I don't know how you do it, but you know what? What inspires you to, uh, to stay up all night with all these raves and do all sorts of crazy things? The enthusiasm. The enthusiasm? The kids of Vancouver are, are so good. They're uh, right up for it. Which is something we already know here at V. So, okay, where's your favorite place to play? Be the gallery at Turnbull's in London. The gallery in London, now you are the resident DJ there, correct? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And what makes it so great to play at the gallery? It's the whole club, the whole experience. It's the building, it's the people, it's the sound. It's, it's just one whole experience, and it's the best night in London. It's the best night in London? Okay, so when we're there, we know the gallery. Yeah. All right, you know, I know you've got a, uh, a plane to catch. He's going back to London to do a rave, but in the meantime, I want to see you do your thing. So go ahead, Alex.
You know what? And I've got a little confession, actually. Ever since I was a little baby diva, I've had a hair obsession, as you can tell. And I've been trying real patiently to wait for our next fashion show, but I'm ridiculously excited to announce that we have international award winner John Paul Holt from Avant Garde Salons right here in the B Studio. Okay? You name it, and he's won it. From the North American Hair Awards for Best Makeovers to the 1999 Lifetime Achievement Award. Please put your hands together for Avant Garde.
Incredible. I, uh, I'm amazed by that. Like, I actually have shivers. I have shivers from all that. You should love it next time. John Paul, I, some of that stuff, I don't even know if some of that stuff was legal, man. That was like incredible. It was fun though, wasn't it? It was amazing. It was amazing. It was fun, wasn't it? It was very fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. I sat there and I watched you with a minute, like, uh, a time span of like four minutes. You actually creating these hairdos on the stage right before our eyes. Yeah, yeah. And after doing this for so long, I was thinking hair show, hair show. This is like an amazing extravaganza. This is everything. It should be entertainment. Hair's, in our case, it's entertainment. It's not like showing you how to do a haircut, but like how to be entertaining and fun. Right. It was definitely entertaining. Yeah. And You've won so many awards. Tell us about what, what the competitions are like. How are they set up? Well, the competitions are sort of national or international, and mm -hmm. basically the, the goal of doing them is, is not to win the thing, but, but to, to compete. So you're trying to push the borders a little bit. You're trying to be pushing the envelopes, being a bit more avant-garde, which is what avant-garde is, like pushing the levels a bit higher. So what is, okay, what is your inspiration behind all this work? Well, you know, the opera, there's an opera piece, and there was the, like a rave party piece, and there was a sexy ladies piece. Oh, yes. Uh, my favorite what can piece. I say? Roman song. Yeah. But the whole point is piece. that you're looking for ways to push the hair further than the normal. Like, we're not trying to show commercial haircuts tonight. We're trying to say, you can go as far as you want if you're trying to show and, and entertain people. And uh, you also have a salon here, though, in, in town. Yeah, we're really fortunate. We've been in Vancouver now for almost 20 years, and uh, we love being in Vancouver. We moved here from England, but like Vancouver is the place. Right. Absolutely. And, um, and no, on, on top of that, so for example, uh, we're off to Miami. We're off to Miami in two weeks' time, and we're going there from Vancouver representing Canada. So you can live in Vancouver and represent the country, and that's what's great about being here. So we're off there to do a huge show in two weeks' time, and we're taking all these models with us. And what we saw tonight was basically an encapsulated version of a one-and-a-half-hour show in six minutes or oh, something. Great. Well, you're representing us uh, very well. We appreciate you being here. Well, thank you. Amazing hair, amazing hair show. Thank you, the thank you very the much. Models. Thanks, the models. Thank you, you. Jean Paul Hall, for coming thank down from Avant Garde Studios. Thank, thank you. you very much, sir. We've got some uh, more amazing stuff coming up right now, ladies and gentlemen, here for their featured dance of the evening. Put your hands together for the V Dancers. <laughs> Every time I write a rhyme, you know it's tight. People say if you get that cue, you out of sight. Yo, make your cheeky eye chico. Coming through, I 
but you do the impossible. Every time I write a rhyme, you know it's tight. People say that you're like you, you out of sight. Yo, Nikki Chicky, how'd you go? Coming through, about to do the impossible. Never test the you like you, the six foot up. You try to call my blood, how could you? Frontin' when you ain't got straps, why would you? Frontin' hardcore in your tanks full of sugar. You can never compare to rhymes I write. My style is ferocious and I'm getting through all of the night. I'm bucking your impala. My entourage is large like Kamala. The women holla. I lay my game down sick. Hey, could have been your girl star. Quick, tickle it. <laughs> Who I be? A P to the I to the M to the P. Lyrically, y'all haters should not test. I'm too laced. Ice on my wrist, chest. You talking shit when you never progress. I'ma excel until I have no goals left. I'm gone. Every time I write a rhyme, you know it's tight. People say it, you like you, you out of sight. Yo, chicky chicky, how'd you go? Coming through, but to do the impossible. Every time I write a rhyme, you know it's tight. People say it, you like you, you out of sight. Yo, chicky chicky, how'd you go? Coming through, but to do the impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you like you, you dance. Good to see you. We have someone in the studio tonight who is definitely not an alien to stardom, but he's certainly out of this world from the hit TV show Roswell. Give it up for Brendan Fair, Brendan. <laughs> Coming on up. Eh? And bringing a little one. Brendan, have a seat. <laughs> you got your pacifier in your mouth. That's excellent. Oh, Brendan, good to see you. Oh, and you, and you, brought, the, you brought the little one here. Uh, what's, uh, what's the little one's name? Uh, Jaden Emery. Jaden Emery, very good. Yes, How, my niece. This is your niece, is it? My niece, yes. Very nice. Uh, Jaden, are you uh, in show business? Yes, you are. Very good. You've got a little drool on your chin. Can we get some makeup on Jaden? Wipe off this drool. Uh, it's great to have you here, uh, Brendan. Thank you very uh, much. You're working big time on the show right now, Roswell. Tell us a little bit about Roswell. How does it, uh, what's it all about? Uh, Roswell is a bunch of, um, it's about a high school, a couple high school students right. in Roswell, New Mexico, and uh, three of them happen to be aliens. Who happen to be aliens. Happen well, this is the aliens. big, Roswell is the town that in, it was 1947, wasn't 1947. it? 1947. Uh, apparently, some people believe that a, a, a spaceship crashed there and that, uh, that aliens still survived from it. Is that right? Yeah, uh, the show is based on, on, on a space crash or... Uh -huh. So-called, I guess the U.S. government calls it the weather balloon. Right. Crash down. So there. The, the government is covering it up a little bit. Yeah, and not in this particular, not in this show. Uh -huh. And yeah, well, in this show they've covered it up. We haven't decided how they. Oh, exactly still working it. that Are stuff they, out. Yeah, it's a weather balloon. Now, what about yourself? Do you believe in in that sort of thing? Um, yeah, I, I'll believe. I believe in aliens just because. I think it'd be fun too. It'd I be guess, fun too. I, yeah. You know, I mean, not not you know based on science and all and all the rest of it. I suppose there's a chance. I, I think. Uh, oh, wants to say something here. Yeah. Did you want to say something? I don't think she, she thinks you're doing a good job, yeah, so well, she's she taking over. Think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. <laughs> she's quite happy. Anyways, what do you think of the hair show? Huh? Pretty sexy. It's kind of odd that we have that sort of thing and a baby on the same show. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, that's, you know, the show sounds like a, a great show, and uh, let's take a look, a little clip from the show right now. This is uh, Brendan Fair at work in Roswell. Michael, everything is going to be okay. No, it won't. Our cover is blown. And I'm not going to hang around and wait for them to catch us. No one is caught yet. I mean, we don't even know if there is a them. What happened to our parents? What happened to everybody else on the ship? They didn't disappear. They were killed. And you know that. Liz won't tell anyone. She's different. Really? So how'd she react when you told her? Great, you're an alien. That's fantastic. Excellent. No, I didn't think so. Brendan Fair at work in Roswell. 
Nice work. Now, uh, that's a Warner Brothers uh, Network show. Now, they've got a lot of... Uh, you're following Dawson Creek, uh, isn't that right? Uh, in the States, we'll be following Dawson's Creek on Wednesday at 9 o'clock. And in Canada, CTV has picked it up okay. 8 o'clock Mondays before Ali McBeal. Right on. So look for it on the CTV. Well, great time slots and stuff. Now, what do you think yeah. about the, a lot of the Warner Brothers Network's shows? They're, they're about young people these days. It's a big trend. What do you think about that? Um, you know, there's money to be made. With with, uh, with the, the young good looking folks, is that what you're with, with the young good looking folks? I mean, th those are a lot of people. They're going to the movies now. They're making a little bit more money, and um, the amount of money they're spending, you know, is a little more. So we're making shows to to target those audiences. Yeah, I think it, I, well, I think that's this the big thing. Big. But you know, I mean, it's gonna be. There's a lot of shows out there, so yeah. You know, you're gonna have bad ones. You're gonna have good ones, and hopefully, we'll be on the good side. Oh, I think so, man. I think the show is like it's just it's heading right to the top because it's really it's really innovative, and it's got a lot of sort of you know like it piques your interest because there's so much that you that you your characters don't know, right? And that they find out as they go along. Yeah, we our characters don't know where we came from. All we know is we're not from Earth, right? And and we don't know how we get home or if you know where home is and all the rest of it. So. Yeah, cool. Now you got your start as an actor. Uh, you just, I mean, you kind of like just fell into it, and now you're you're very popular. Popular and you've, have you got some fan mail? I don't, I don't, am I very popular? Oh yeah, got, you're big time popular. I don't, I don't know about that. I got one fan mail so far. One fan mail. One. <laughs> from uh, from from a, a girl in Fargo, North Dakota, oh, which is right? about eight, uh, which is about two hours north of my hometown. <laughs> I, I, I should say hi to her, I guess, since she's my very first one. So oh, I think her name nice. is her name is uh, Lorena Schneider. I think her name was. Lorena Schneider. I hope I pronounced that right. So thank you very much. Personal response to fan mail by Brendan Fair. Thanks very much, Brendan Fair from Roswell, for coming in. And the little baby. Hi. See ya. Okay, I'll shake your hand too. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, here she is to sing her second song of the night. Uh, give it up once again for Just Saint. <laughs> Yeah. 
Come on down here and have a seat. Next to me. Thank you. Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour, ça va bien? Uh, ça va bien. Et tout? That's Spanish. I slipped into Spanish. I lost it right off the bat. Both, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, you sing in a whole bunch of different languages, isn't that right? Yeah, I sing French, English, and Italian, too. There's wow. a. Wow. Do you have any like which is your favorite language to sing in? I know you're you're uh, you're French. That's your first your uh -huh, first exactly. language, and you're singing in English. But which do you prefer? Uh, you know, I really like the I like all languages, singing all languages, because there's kind of different emotions that are passed depending on yeah. the song, and you know. And all the so, romantic languages, they have some different words, just shadings of yeah, different words oh, yeah. that you can really just sink your teeth into. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Now, uh, speaking of sinking your teeth into, I know that you, uh, you're a big fan of opera as well. I don't know what yeah. that segue has nothing to do with that, but, <laughs> but you like opera. I'm a big, big fan. I, I try to go as much as I can. Uh, I really love it. Yeah? Any aspirations to be an opera singer? You never know. Maybe one day. Right. Yeah, I'm actually, uh, I go to singing lessons every week, and uh, I'm learning a kind of an opera technique, so you never know. One day you might sing me. Nice, but I don't know, know opera or something. I doubt it, but you, whatever. You never know. You never know. You, you never, never know. So we have this CD out. Yeah. Sorry, yes. Roman, we have this CD I got out. What it takes, yeah. And I mean, there's only yeah, there's only one French song in there. Are you thinking about releasing another CD in French or? I'm actually recording an album all in French right now, and it should come out at the end of October. So I'm waiting for that. You're kind of waiting for that. Yeah. Sounds good. I'm looking forward Thank to it. You. So any tours or anything coming up? Uh, actually, I'm kind of touring right now. I just came back from Japan. I'm going back next week. I've been signed with a company called uh, Avex. Avex? And, yeah. It, uh, it also has... Very uh, exciting. Yeah, Backstreet yeah. Boys. And, Lots uh, of big Britney names Spears. on Avex. Yeah. So what's that going to mean for you? Uh, you're going to be uh, very popular in Asia. Is that right? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Man. We're kind of working for that, yeah. What, what did you What did you think being over there? It was pretty wild, I'm sure. It's really cool. The people are amazing. There's a lot of respect and... Uh, it's a total different culture. So out of all the places that you've been and you've toured, what's your favorite city to play? I think it's everywhere I've been. I've been to France, Italy, and all these other places, and it's just different, and there's a lot of... I fall in love every time I go somewhere, let's mm -hmm. just say. It's, well, it's exciting to be traveling oh, around yeah, like I that. Oh, yeah, I love it. It can be very stressful, too, and I, I know you got to take care of yourself. What do you do to sort of warm up for a show or to prepare your throat and that kind of thing? <laughs> I try to drink a lot of tea and uh -huh. uh, booze. Do you ever try booze? No, I don't. You're 19 drink. now. You it always loosens booze. me up a little. Liquor. Oh yeah, it's great. You should try. I it. start singing and dancing. Didn't you see Actually, me dance before? <laughs> you were amazing. Really. Oh, thank you very much. I have to say. It. Ten more drinks and I start sounding like the baby, though. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you know what? You're amazing. We're absolutely. Oh, we're delighted to have you on the show. Well, thanks for having me. The voice me. of an here. angel. Thank you. Come back anytime. Just say it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back here on V. All right. What a great crowd. You guys are an excellent crowd tonight. Thank you so much for joining us on V. We want to thank our guest, Just Saint, for being here. And of course, a big thanks to Brendan Fair from Roswell. And the baby. And of course, Russell James. Russell. And DJ Alex Anderson. But we're kicking it out with the V Dancers. Yeah.
a V stay at the Western Grand Hotel, Vancouver. Elegance in the heart of downtown's entertainment district.